Hello, in this video I will show you uh, info about my latest plugin Panopticon WordPress Search Engine. This is a plugin that will allow you to uh, embed a fully customizable search engine to your WordPress blog. Uh, this search engine has also an ad manager that will allow you to uh, enable ads in the search results. Uh, also the ads are uh, appearing in function of the search searches of the user. So if the uh, user searches for dogs in the search engine and you have ads that contain the dog keyword, the dog ads will appear for the user. So it is a really good feature. Also, it has many other uh, cool features, but let's check them out right now. Uh, to install it, click plugins, add new, Upload plugin, choose file, navigate the zip file you downloaded and click install now. Activate the plugin and go to plugin settings. Here you will see that uh, the plugin requires a contextual web search API key to function. Click here to get one. Now you have to log in or create an account at Rapid API and copy this uh, API key paste it here and save info. Now you can go ahead and use the plugin. Uh, click here how to make this plugin work and you will see this uh, help. Uh, you can create a quick post, add new post. and paste this shortcode to it. Note that all parameters for the shortcode are optional. So you can use like this, it will still work. But if you want to fully customize it, then you have all these shortcode parameters to play with. Okay, now let's click publish and let's see what we got. Let's see the blog. So this is in a WordPress post, but you can customize this to show full width and not inside the post. I'll leave this like this because it is convenient to show it like this right now. Okay, this is the default uh, 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 appearance of the search box. You can fully customize this with CSS or from inside the plugin. If you go to plugins main settings, you will see that it has quite a bunch of settings to uh, play with. Uh, you can customize each string that appears in the plugin. So let's go ahead and first remove this uh, powered by. If you want to remove this, all you have to do is delete the powered by text and save settings. If you refresh the page, the powered by text disappeared. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check plugin functioning. Let's see, uh, let's write WordPress. Click enter or click find. And you will see that results appeared. Uh, you have all search, news search, and images search. Also, you will have a pagination that can be enabled or disabled. As you can see, let's click for search news. These are news articles. Let's search for images. Load more. Load more and so on. Okay, so let's get back to the plugin shortcode settings. Search text. This is the search text that will appear here. So if you want to change it now, like this. Search prefill. If you want to force visitors to search for a specific word 
at the start of the uh, at the loading of the page but they cannot change this so this is useful if you want visitors to search only for a specific word um, let's test this let's say I want to search visitors only I want to allow visitors to search only for WordPress so I will refresh it and it is now WordPress filled in and the visitor cannot change it only he can search for WordPress now this is the only term that is allowed to search okay let's get back let's delete this to allow visitors to search for content search description search so this is the uh, description that appears when the text box is empty as you can see it appears search and three dots search and three dots find text this is the button uh, the text that appears on the button width is auto you can set this to any width you de de desire in pixels background color this is the CSS color for white a border color the color of the border if you want to disable the border then leave it like this if you have white background normally then the back border will be uh, disabled border width uh, font type font size navigation font size text color link color custom css you can also add here custom css add density this is a nice feature i will get back to this in a bit this uh in a nutshell this is the uh settings field that defines uh how many articles let's um, let me explain this for you if you define custom ads in the ad manager this is the settings field that will define after how many results should an ad appear for the visitor so if you put here free then an ad will appear here there will be free results an ad will appear here another free results and an ad will appear here okay maximum seven results result div id this is the div id html div id that will be given for results this is advanced settings you can leave this as default searching the text that appears when searching this text google ads off if you uh, put google ads inside the search results click here and set this to on then only like this will work the google ads inside the search results save search on if you want to filter adult content uh, then leave this at on if don't leave this at off autocorrect if you want to autocorrect misspellings from users like this then set this to on search type all this is the uh, search type the possible search types are news images and all if you set this to images let's say then the default search type when a user hits enter or clicks on find will be images and so on for news okay Pub from publish date and to publish date these are restrictions for news articles only so if you set this to news then only then will these two settings fields apply so this will apply only to news articles uh, this will filter articles beginning from and ending to these dates so only these articles that match these that are inside these two dates will appear in search results okay so these are the shortcode settings advanced uh, help for the shortcode can be viewed here down in the bottom of the page this is the advanced help okay 
so so now let's get and see the features of the plugin the advanced features so here we have the web search api key to enable the searching enable suggestions while typing this is a very cool feature so if uh, we refresh the page and let's say type slower you will see that suggestions will appear let's say trumps okay now let's search for suggestions as you can see okay you can disable these suggestions here enable all new images switcher buttons in results if you uncheck this then the switching buttons the result switching buttons these three buttons will be removed from results so if you disable this the buttons will be removed enable related search results the related search results are at the bottom of the page and they show related results to the search word that the user entered so now it is elon musk ceo uh, one news page and so on and if the user clicks on one of them the search will be made for elon musk okay related search separator the separator that will be used between the different search uh, related search results maximum number of related results if you want to limit the number of related results that will be shown you can enter a value here enable paging navigator then if you want to enable this paging navigator then leave this checked allow results language list if you want to limit the language uh, results that you want to uh, the plugin to allow and display then enter the language uh, codes here the language codes are two letter language codes like this if you want to enable only english and spanish then you should leave this like this banned results language list if you want to ban spanish for example enter it like this banned word list words list if you don't want to allow search uh, results that contain a specific uh, text uh, word list then you can enter here like this and so on okay required word list uh, only results that contain these words will be uh, displayed for the required word list require all words in the required word list if you check this then all words will be required for the required word list if you uncheck it only one is enough for the uh, result to display maximum title word count this can be used to limit the word count for the title if you have very long titles the plugin will truncate and display only let's say 10 words for the title maximum the same for the content you can limit the content word uh, size to uh, limit image search column count this can be used to uh, set image search column count let's say i want to search in four columns and the plugin now uses four columns okay shortest api token this is a very very cool feature that will enable you to make a passive earning from this plugin without using your custom ads which is also possible we will see in a while okay so now let's uh, click here to sign up for shortest after you have signed up click here to get an api key copy the api key from here paste it here and all you have to do is save settings after you have saved settings let's check back to our plugin and if the user makes a search right now 
the links will be shortened by the shortest uh, link shortening service. And the nice thing about this is that they also pay for results. As you can see, I created this yesterday, this account, and I already started earning. Uh, they pay around $10 for 1000 clicks. So I say that they are pretty uh, good uh, pay. Ha they have pretty good payout. Okay. So now, as you can see, if the visitor clicks on this link, he will be redirected through the uh, shortest uh, link shortener and they will see some ads and you will be paid for this. Okay, so this is a very, very cool feature for the plugin. Okay, also you can set the maxi maximum number of links to monetize. This will uh, increase uh, the speed that results are shown for users. This will monetize only the top two links. If you have many, many uh, uh, results on your page, this will monetize only the top two. So if this will be monetized, this will be monetized, this will not be monetized anymore. Only the top two. This will increase the speed that the sh results are shown for your visitors because requests to uh, shorten links take time and if you have many many results that are shown to visitors results can come slow okay so now let's go ahead and go to the ad manager this is another extremely nice feature of the plugin that will allow you to create custom ads that will uh, be shown between results. So we remain here and uh, get back to this immediately. So you can create custom ads in your uh, in the plugin and define first where to show the ad. Everywhere in news and all search, all image search, news image, all search, news search or image search. Let's say uh, I want an ad in all and new search. That is textual ad. And let's say I want to link to my uh, web page. This is my blog. I want to link to my blog. I want to open. open the link in a new tab like this this is the HTML code to a link uh, that leads to my blog and opens in a new tab okay this will be a textual link start showing this ad at this date you can define a date that uh, we'll start showing this ad. You can set this as You can enter a date like this and Ending date for showing this ad you can set this like this So the Plugin will end showing this ad after five months, or you can set here a static date like this. Okay, add keyword list. This is the keyword list that should be, that will be used if you define here a keyword list. When visitors search for cats, for example, if you define here a keyword list. If you use the cat keyword for this ad, this uh, ad will be shown to visitors that search for cats uh, on the top of the results. So uh, if you don't enter here uh, keywords, then the plugin will search the ad code for keywords. Okay, so this is not this is just optional 
but keep in mind that if you want to fully optimize the ad showing for visitors then you should also fill in some relevant keywords for the ad type you define now click save settings and the ad is created here you can see the ad created okay now let's go ahead and check results and how it's this is appearing let's search again as you can see the ad appears code revolution if the visitor clicks it he goes to my blog in a new tab and also after free results the ad is displayed again and again and so on this can be made also an image ad or anything else you can uh, uh, dream of so this is html so you can set here anything you wish also an image ad can be uh, defined let's leave this at all and nudes and let's add an image ad let's uh, check and so if you define here an image I won't do this right now because I already have a long video that I made so you get the idea this is the ad manager uh, you will uh, create here ads and these ads will appear on the search results so you can also uh, put uh, some banners on your site that you accept custom paid ads from your customers so the customers pay you to include ads to your search results exactly like adsense so you can create your own adsense with this plugin okay another cool so let's get back to the uh, this you can randomize ad order let's create real quick another another ad and let's uh, check it so as you can see the ad appears like this if you go here and click randomize ad order then the ads will be displayed in random order right now they are displayed exactly in the order they were how you entered it so like right now they are displayed in random order as you can see right here you can also make the plugin to not show the same ad twice if you have not so many ads defined if you check this checkbox then the same ad will not be shown twice to not in annoy visitors so right now the same ad shouldn't be shown twice as you can see the two ads only show once okay oh, show only ads that matches keyword result so i check this i enter here also uh, keyword god and these are cats and pets and if we search now no ads are displayed but if i search for dog then the dog uh, keyword is displayed uh, the dog keyword ad is displayed so if you check this then only ads will appear that match the search keyword for visitors okay now let's uh, go ahead and uh, check how to customize the plugin so you can customize here the result display how the plugin displays results you can use here shortcodes these are the available shortcodes to be used in this space this is the title template that will be used for all search this is the URL template that will be used for all search and this is the description template that will be used for all search these three repeat for the news and the image search uh, let's get back this is the title this is the URL and this is the description 
so if we change the title if we add here a keyword or use another shortcode from here we are uh, free to change this as we wish so if we go ahead and check now the test keyword will be appended to all uh, titles and so on so you get the idea you can change the title link and you are then description for all images have only description they don't have titles and uh, uh, URLs but you are free to set one if you wish also you can change every one every single string that appears in the plugin you can set a translation for them or you can change them as you wish no results found load more you can change these settings okay now go ahead and uh, check this you can also use a proxy when accessing uh, the api do not show your uh, server's ip address directly enable tracking for usage tracking this is another cool feature so if you check this and go to usage tracking page you will see that this is empty but if you have checked the enable usage tracking and uh, visitor counts and searches for dog let's say and we go to the usage tracking and you can see that the dog keyword is displayed for all search so if we go here and search for something it will appear here also the plugin has a logging feature that can be seen here in the activity and logging section here you can see a quick uh, system information you can restore plugin default settings and he, this is the activity log that will be shown for you the, here only errors uh, possible errors that the plugin will throw will be displayed and this should be used only for debugging purposes okay so and finally here is the random sentence uh, feature of the plugin here you can use the random sentence a short code and configure it this can be used in the uh, uh, results display section so this can be used in this as you can see so the random sentence can be used in this uh, part here in the title URL or description you can define here random uh, sentences each one on one line uh, these are not, not random sorry so you can define here sentences with variables uh, the variables will be replaced with a value from here that you define here like this and the sentence will be uh, selected at random for each random sentence run so this is another cool feature and this is the help for the short codes so i think i covered every feature that this cool plugin has okay also another thing to check is that searching has the uh, grammar like google has so visitors can come and search for cat or dog also site search is uh, allowed the visitors can come and uh, enter site website.com and your search query exactly like on google so this is all for now i hope you will enjoy this plugin that can be really really customizable and uh, can be made to generate for you a passive income so uh, please let me know your feedback about this, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you enjoy it and until next time, bye bye.